Uh, we're at uh, Peterson Space Force Base in Colorado, and we are testing various technologies for treating PFASs. So these are persistent organic chemicals, man-made chemicals, found in a lot of different products, but used in a lot of applications, particularly by US military related to firefighting foams. And as a result, uh, there's a lot of PFASs, particularly at military sites. And uh, we are today uh, testing a bunch of different technologies for how to remove and destroy those PFASs, particularly those associated with sediment. And our flow rate, pressure, temperature, understanding what... You know, we were a user of these, right, for firefighting foams um, that we used all across the Air Force. Um, and so, yeah, now, you know, our commitment is to clean up and, you know, in accordance with the EPA uh, process and the regulations that are set forth. Um, so we're currently in what we call remedial investigation. Um, and then eventually, hopefully that leads us to remedial cleanup, uh, remedial action. Um, and hopefully these technologies will be ready right by that point where we can actually implement. We remove sediment from the pond uh, that has this impact, and we have either treated it directly, uh, so heated it directly to destroy the PFASs in the sediment itself, or we've washed that sediment with a liquid, including things like ethanol, to get the chemicals off the sediment into a liquid waste stream, which we can then treat directly. So we either are treating it on the solid phase or in the liquid phase, and we're trying to do both here. Move on to the, to the next one. We'll see. Each PFASs are often referred to as forever chemicals, uh, which means that some of them, not all of them, but some of them stick around for a very, very long time. Uh, they're extremely persistent in the environment. And if they're left to stick around in the environment, they do make their way into uh, humans. We can ingest uh, them through our contaminated water. We can get exposed to them through our contaminated food. A lot of them uh, can, the ones we're most concerned about tend to bioaccumulate and things like fish. And if you eat the fish, you get exposed and that can lead to adverse health effects. And so we're trying to overall reduce people's exposure either by removing the chemicals from their water or by removing them from the environment, which could then get into either their water or in their food. <laughs> 